The coronavirus has caused many gyms to close and kept parents at home watching their kids, and that can make it hard to stay or get in shape. So I talked to the owner of Edge Body Boot Camp on what you can do to get a workout at home without any equipment. It may be a while before many of us get back to our gyms, but Missy Henry says that doesn't mean we can't work out some of our most important muscles. We're gonna be chest, back, shoulders, legs. She says you can do that by starting with 10 squats. About hip width, shoulder width apart, and just slightly to turn those toes out okay. just a little bit. And then we're just gonna drive those knees out, just trying to squat down below parallel. Next, do 10 push-ups. So biggest thing is we want those hands under our shoulders and then we're gonna point those elbows more back at a 45 degree angle. If that gets too tough, you can modify it by putting your knees on the ground or just elevating your body. You could do a chair, you could do a table. Um, some people could even do a wall, depending on where you're at. So really just any kind of sturdy surface that you can use. From there, put your feet up and reach for your toes, doing 10 toe touch crunches. Good, and really exhale and breathe as you're reaching up. To really get the blood pumping, she says you should then do 30 mountain climbers. One, one, two, two, good. Yep, just nice and easy, and this is gonna get that heart rate up, but we're also having to stabilize to hold yourself up as well. And lastly yep. is the bent over row. You just wanna keep your back nice and flat, and then we're just gonna row, and we're gonna pull this to our chest. Okay. And the goal is that we're squeezing those shoulder blades back. If you don't have weights, you can do what we did and lift a backpack. And the backpack's actually kind of a good idea because you can throw objects in there to weight it down. When you're done with all of that, Missy says you can repeat it all over as many times as you need to get a good workout. But if this is all new to you, you should probably just do 10 to 15 minutes. Start small and then add days, then add time to the amount that you're exercising each day. Missy says this is just one example of the workouts she posts on her home and on the go workout series blog. Here's what the exercises look like. It was designed for people that were traveling on vacation or traveling for work. Originally designed for her members, it's open for anyone to try out for free. We are going to be doing burpees, we're going to be doing push ups, we're going to be doing plank ups, then we're going to be doing three ab moves. And if all of that sounds like a lot, start smaller and remember what matters most. Any movement counts. Any movement is good for mental health, and right now that's gonna be as big of an important thing for all of us to stay connected, is de-stressing, taking care of our mental and physical health. So if all you can do right now is move a little bit during commercials, start there, and then build up from there. You can find more of Missy's workouts online by going to her website, edgebodyomaha.com, and then clicking on the blog tab. Also, moving forward, we are launching a new series called Move It Monday. We'll be showing you things you can do from home to stay in shape.